Okay, so if you're taking any sort of algebra course, and I'm talking about things like pre-algebra, algebra 1, certainly algebra 2, you're definitely going to have to know how to do a problem like this. And this is not that difficult. And the problem would go something like this. Evaluate the variable expression for the following value. So we want to evaluate 5xy minus 10x plus y. We want to know what this is equal to if we let x is equal to negative 2 and y is equal to 5. So if you think you could do this problem, this is, uh, again, not that difficult. Put your answer into the comment section. Feel free to use a calculator. But even if you get it right, I want to talk about a common mistake, okay, that gets people in trouble. So even if you got it right, the way you did it could not be the best approach. And I'll explain more of that here in a second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, you can be successful in mathematics, but what you need is great math instruction, clear, understandable, and comprehensive. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, check out my Math Help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. Now, um, if you're preparing for some sort of test, that has mathematics on it. I'm talking about things like the SAT, ACT, GED, ASVAB, maybe the Alex exam, ACCUPLACE, or teacher certification exam. Uh, any of you out there that are going to be going into some sort of school, whether it be college or some sort of training program, are going to have to take a placement exam, entrance exam, certification exam. All those exams have uh, math on them. Anyways, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, check out my uh, homeschool program for middle and high school mathematics. Won a lot of awards this year with that program. Very proud of that. If you need a pair of comprehensive math notes, check out my notes. I'm going to leave links to those in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so I'm going to show you the answer to this problem here in just one second. So um, if you're not ready to see the answer, just pause the video, but I'm going to show you this right now. Okay, so 5x, uh, 5xy minus 10x plus y, if we let these uh, variables be equal to this uh, value, this whole expression right here is equal to negative 25. That is the answer. So if you got that right, let me go ahead and uh, reward you with a nice little happy face and A plus, A 100%, and a few stars so you can have an extra special day. Nice job, okay? Now, again, I said that if you got this right, uh, stick around for another minute, uh, uh, another additional minute or two, because I'm going to talk about how students uh, do these type of problems, and they can get themselves in trouble. So let's talk about how to do this problem. First of all, what does it mean? Well, we have 5xy minus 10x plus y. What this problem is asking us is to replace these variables. We have x here and x here, and we have y there and y there. We're going to replace these variables with these values, okay? In other words, it's simply just going to do the math. So this x, we're going to plug in a negative 2. This x, we, uh, we'll plug in a negative 2. This y, we'll plug in a 5. And then uh, this y, we'll plug in a 5. So we just need to be able to um, kind of rewrite this problem with these number values and then uh, figure out the rest. So here, we all go, you might be saying, okay, 5xy minus 10x plus y. So this is 5 in algebra, let me just kind of uh, be clear about this, 5xy, this means 5 times x uh, times y. When you have a variable next to one another or next to a number like this and nothing in between, this means multiplication. So that's kind of like um, a part of the problem is to make sure you understand, you know, uh, what's going on with these variable expressions, what they mean. So we're like, okay, so we're going to take this 5 times then a negative 2 because x is equal to negative 2 times a5, and then that's going to be minus this 10 times this x. Again, this x is negative 2, plus uh, this y, which is 5. So if you're saying to yourself, oh, yeah, okay, just kind of do 5 times negative 2 times 5, then get that answer, subtract away 10 times negative 2, then add 5. Well, yes, that's exactly what we're doing. But you can see here, the way I'm setting this problem up right, um, the way I'm writing this is a, um, a way that is almost guaranteed for you to make a mistake. You don't want to do it this way. So again, uh, the problem here, okay, in algebra is you're going to be told to evaluate, all right? This word evaluate is a very common word in mathematics, and it means to plug in a value. You can evaluate a function. You can evaluate 
an expression like this with numeric values. But anytime you evaluate anything, you want to use parentheses, okay? This right here will keep you from making a lot of errors. Believe me when I tell you I've been teaching math not for a decade, but for decades, okay? <laughs> I've been doing math for a long, 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 long time. And uh, if you use parentheses, it is going to reduce uh, you making mistakes at least by 90%. So let me show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so instead of trying to figure out the problem this way, what you want to do, let's go ahead and just get rid of that, is be like, okay, we know that x is going to be equal to negative 2 and y is equal to 5. Okay, so that's what we're told. All right, that's the problem. x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to 5. So we have our expression here, 5xy minus 10x plus y. So let's take this 5xy. So you're going to write your 5. And now we're going to plug in a negative 2 for x and 5 for y. And when you do this, use parentheses. We use a parenthesis, a negative 2. That's our x. And then parenthesis, 5. Get in the habit of using parentheses because when you're dealing with negative signs, uh, you can get in trouble pretty quickly when you're doing a lot of like simplifying numeric expressions. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this out. So we have minus 10x. And this x here, we're going to plug in a negative 2 using parentheses. That's minus 10 times negative 2. And then we have our y over here, which is, of course, going to be 5. And we'll even, uh, use parentheses there it's just to form a habit. Every time you're replacing a variable with a value, use parentheses. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure this out now. And this is pretty basic, um, you know, uh, arithmetic. Hopefully you're up to speed on your positive and negative numbers. We have 5 times negative 2, which is what? Negative 10 times 5, or, or 5 times 5, 25 times 2. Either way, you're going to get a negative 50, all right? So hopefully you know your positive and negative numbers. If you don't, you know, I'll, I'll hold off here in a second, but I'm going to give you some um, suggestions on any of these things that might be bothering here. But let's take a look at this part of the problem. This is minus 10, uh, minus 10 times negative 2. Well, this minus, you really want to turn this into a plus negative so you can kind of explicitly see that this is a negative number times a negative number. Negative 10 times negative 2 is a positive 20, all right? So this is a positive uh, 20. So minus 10 times negative 2, positive 20, and then we have plus 5. We just write that as 5. So let's go ahead and finish this up. Uh, 20 plus 5, because this is positive, that's positive 25. So negative 50 plus a positive 25 is a negative 25. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. Again, uh, when you're evaluating in algebra, i.e. replacing variable, vari a variable or variables with different values, positive and negative, it's so easy to make an error. Okay, one, you have to be really good at just adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing positive and negative numbers. And then two, you have to use parentheses, okay? You don't have to, but I'm telling you right now, uh, excellent math teachers out there are going to, you know, uh, tell you to do this. And if you look at textbooks and whatnot, you'll see that uh, parentheses are being used. So just model that behavior and you will be good to go. Now, if you need help with any of this stuff, I'm going to uh, kind of uh, point you towards my pre-algebra course, okay? Because what we're doing here is effectively pre-algebra and pre -algebra, my pre-algebra course I go through how to evaluate positive and negative numbers, everything you need to know to be successful in algebra. But hopefully this video helped you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.